Well, hey guys, I'm still at it. Um, <laughs> I came across another message that I deleted. Um, I think this one I deleted because I, I got freaked out because that's when like everything just started happening and um, people threatening things, you know, so um, I'm going to re-say this message again. Um, just like the Lord told me to. It's tough being obedient, guys. <laughs> it is so tough. Um, but you know, when God speaks and he puts it on your heart, you have to do it. And you know, I, I let man scare me. So I'm reposting this one also. Um, this one was received, um, February 15th. I got a lot of slack for this one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he gave me, um, first let me claim that Jesus Christ came to earth in the flesh as a man. Um, and then um, he died for us and he rose three days later. Okay, um, he gave me Colossians 1.13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. Philippians 2.8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Jeremiah 1 9 then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said to me behold I put my words in your mouth Jeremiah 1 14 then the Lord said to me out of the north calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land Matthew 16 9 do not yet understand or remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you took up Genesis 23 11 no my Lord hear me I give you the field and the cave that is in it I give it to you in the presence of the sons of my people, I give it to you, bury your dead. My child, and here's the message. Um, my child, war is coming to the U.S. Air, air missiles are striking tonight. They're coming to, to Florida, New York, and Texas. Be ready, be prepared. If you ask me to save you, I will. Believe in me and confess your sins. I will forgive you. I speak truth. Alien deception is here. It is not going away. I will. It will explain the rapture. It's going to increase rapidly. Our paso is coming. Are you heeding the warnings? Earthquakes, mudslides, monsoons, hurricanes, tornadoes, massive floods all coming. Earthquakes over eight more are coming. Oil refineries will be blown up. My child, the drinking water will no longer be drinkable soon. The air will be hazardous to breathe in soon. Warm wood is coming. Snow, lots of snow is coming over five feet in Montreal, Canada. Winds over 100 miles in Brunswick, Georgia. Lightning storms will take out power grids. No power anywhere in EMP shortly after. Then darkness comes. Look at CNN tonight. They will announce Obama. Martial law will be called to order soon. Trucks, there will be no diesel, no food delivered, and the remaining items on the shelf will be a whole day, day's work of wages. My people, listen for the angels sounding the trumpets. It's coming. I will not let you be harmed. Wake up. It's all here, and my judgment is here. I will not let my elect and children suffer. Look at the ninth hour. You will hear the trumpets. My people are coming home. I have prepared the wedding feast. My word is true, and it will come to pass. Believe in me. Confess your sins, and I will forgive you. I love you. Your Messiah, your Adonai, your rescuer, your deliverer, your father, and your friend. I will see you soon. Jeremiah 2 12. Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, says the Lord. Philippians 3 8. Yet indeed I also count all the things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. Mark 1 5. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Luke 2, 9, And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Zechariah 14, 7, It shall be one day which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night, but at evening time it shall happen that it will be light. Revelation 7, 5, Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Habakkuk 1, 13, You are a pure of eyes, and to behold evil, and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously and hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he? Judges 5, 9. My heart is with the rulers of Israel who offer themselves willingly with the people. Bless the Lord. Revelation 11, 9. Then those from the people's tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their bodies to be put into graves. John 5, 8. <clears throat> Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his one 
uh, his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, so I reposted that, um, or I'm reposting that one. Um, so guys, you know, the Lord gave me that on February 15th, so don't freak out, you know, for the ones in those states. Um, you know, explosions did happen. I don't know what he meant by air missiles. Some was like a meteorite, some were just... I don't know. They they hit those states so eventually, um, you know, within that that night and then a few days later, and then Obama's on CNN, <laughs> the pursuit of excellence or something like that. That's crazy. And then the fact that they just announced the other day by accident Obama's president, and then there I mean Biden. I I believe God gave me all that for a reason, um, and I don't know how many trains have derailed now. And all the explosions everywhere and the chemicals in the air and then the water getting messed up. So, um, all of that was for a reason, guys. So, <clears throat> I had to be obedient and listen to my Lord Jesus and, um, repost it. So, I did. I guess I'll just see what happens. But, it is what it is. I can't be scared of man. I have to, I have to be obedient to God. Um, it's hard. <sighs> Guys, if if you don't if you don't know, it's really really hard, and it's really hard because you have to deal with a lot of people who don't believe you, who think that you would that you're crazy or that you would make up things like this. Like I have a life, or I did, <laughs> um, you know. But I I would never make up stuff like this, guys. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't even know how to make stuff up like this. You know, it's just whatever, what I hear in my head. I'm never in front of my Bible when he gives me these scriptures. So when I copy and paste it, it's like a surprise every time, you know? And it's hard for anyone to under, understand if they, if they don't, if they're not going through this. And guys, don't mock the other prophets out there. You know, there's, um, I can't remember his name. He's lovely, but I feel the Holy Spirit in him. And we may not understand everything, you know, that he talks about, you know, about being the lamb or, or what. And we know Jesus is the lamb in the Bible. Um, but maybe God, you know, I was praying about that and maybe he's, he's talking spiritual to him. Maybe it's a spiritual thing, not necessarily the physical lamb. And, you know, also what popped in my head um, when I was praying about that was John 13 and John 14, you know, um, and I remember it talking about being one with the Father. Um, and, you know, if he's receiving messages from Jesus, he has to be one with the Father. You know, he's not God. He's not claiming to be God. He's just claiming to be a chosen one. And, um, you know, cut him some slack, guys. It is so hard to be obedient to Jesus. It is so hard. Because, you know, we still live in this world. We still live in the flesh. And, you know, the Lord hasn't given me those um, dates, probably to give me a break from all the naysayers, but um, he hasn't given me April 9th through 11th. But I'm not saying that it's not true because the Lord tells me yes or no before I watch a video. And he told me yes on those people. You know, that's what I heard. So I feel like in my spirit, you know, I feel the Holy Spirit. Are we perfect? Do we get everything 100% correct? No, we don't. Guys, I don't even think the prophets got it 100% correct, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know the Bible as much as the Bible scholars out there, but always listen to Jesus through understanding and the Holy Spirit. Don't just read scriptures and think that you know it all. Ask Jesus for confirmation and he will give it to you. He's given me so many revelations. It's amazing. And if you don't know him, you ask Jesus to come into your life. You repent from your sins, which is a change of mind and turning away from the world and going into Jesus and 100% trusting in him. Um, and he will save you. He'll forgive you. He doesn't want anyone to perish. So anyway, cut the prophets some slack because they love you and they're giving up their time and these messages for you to save you. So stop. Stop with the scoffing and the mocking because the Lord loves us all the same. God bless.